warned this video will contain spoilers. The arrival of the Gen 2 clones on Ark 1 was always going to create tension, and it's no surprise things escalated quickly. These clones have been subjected to harsh treatment, confined to labs, and used for organ transplants. The fact that they were never truly seen as human made it inevitable that they'd push back. Milos, in particular, takes drastic measures by taking the red pills and releasing a sedative powder into the ship's air system, knocking out the crew. But it's in this chaotic environment that we see just how resilient the Ark-1 crew can be. Captain Garnet, herself a clone, resists the sedatives long enough to make sure Kelly is activated. And Kelly's quick response leads to waking Kabir, who then revives Alicia. This creates a chain reaction that puts the crew back in a position to fight. Alicia's hacking abilities become vital, allowing her to take control of the system, while Bryce cleverly distracts the clones. It's the type of teamwork we've come to expect from this crew, always finding a way to survive the impossible. There's also the revelation about the explosion on the planet earlier in the season. While Ian was the initial suspect, it turns out that Milos was the real culprit, pulling Ian into his plan to seize control of Arc-1. It's a moment that solidifies Milos as a serious threat, especially when he's willing to go as far as killing the crew if that's what it takes. Meanwhile, Alicia's control of the systems puts her in a dangerous position. Milos needs Garnet to wake up and use her override code, and he's willing to threaten Spencer's life to get her to comply. But Garnet is one step ahead, using her code to lock out the clones instead of giving them what they want. Kabir and Dr. Marsh, with the help of Angus, are pivotal in countering the sedatives by pumping gas through the air system. It's a clever solution that once again highlights how this crew, even when divided, works together to save each other. And in the end, Garnet and Ian unite to defeat Milos and restore order to Arc-1. Then there's Bryce's backstory about the lunar mission, which gives us another layer to his character. Kimmy's investigation into Bryce's past uncovers his connection to Marissa Yi and the mission that went terribly wrong. Bryce was meant to pilot a suicide mission, and while he was prepared to sacrifice himself because of his Clampkin's diagnosis, he couldn't take Marissa's life. His choice to disobey those orders led to catastrophic consequences, including the death of Spencer's father. This revelation creates a huge rift between Bryce and Spencer, who is understandably furious. Spencer's grief over his father's death clouds his judgment, and while Bryce's actions are complex and morally gray, Garnet steps in to ensure Bryce doesn't face imprisonment. Instead, Bryce is demoted, which is seen as sufficient punishment. But his emotional turmoil doesn't end there. The discovery that Eva is from the Eastern Federation shakes him, yet he eventually accepts her, leaving their relationship open to possibility. Unless, of course, Eva faces execution for her past affiliations. However, by the episode's end, the stakes get even higher. An Eastern Federation ship drops out of FTL with weapons locked on Arc-1, giving Eva a chance to prove her loyalty. It's a tense moment that could change everything for the crew. On the engineering front, William Trust becomes the unlikely new head of the department with Eva on house arrest. Trust, who has been a constant source of complaints, steps into the role. His involvement with Kelly, however, is complicated. After Kelly is activated, she collapses, suffering from organ failure due to her enhancements. While Marsh can't fix it alone, there's hope that Trust could help. But given his complicated feelings toward Kelly, especially after she killed his wife, it's uncertain if he'll step up. Trust's deep-seated anger makes it difficult to imagine him saving Kelly, but this could be a turning point for his character. There's a lot to unpack from this episode, and the stakes are higher than ever as the Gen 2 clones threat looms over the Arc-1 crew. Do you think William Trust will help save Kelly despite his grudge? What's your take on Bryce's decision during the lunar mission? Let me know in the comments, and let's discuss where you think the next episode is heading.